back to my channel so today is the first day of work uh, for today I'm just gonna be doing orientation virtually at home and then tomorrow is gonna be my like official official first day on the job so yeah this is just my little cute little top that I have for orientation and I'm here in my bed so it's gonna be from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and yeah let's get to um, it. with that said I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go um, per the roster and almost like a roll call as well so I can make sure that everyone that's on the HR list is with us virtually so that I'm, you get credit for attending as well as paid for attending um, this full day of orientation um, I will have my two colleagues introduce, introduce themselves first because it's not just me that will be part of your experience. Hey you guys, the so orientation is officially over. Yay! So, which means tomorrow is my official day working. I haven't told you guys about the new job as yet, so now is the time. <laughs> okay, so... I was hired to work as a unit coordinator in the labor and delivery department at a hospital. So I will be moving from a clinic to a hospital. Yay! And also um, my schedule would be the same as like nurses in the hospital, like that three days, 12 hour shifts. So that's what my schedule would be like as well. Also. I will still have my medical assistant job because my medical assistant job is per diem. I can go when I want. So since I'll be working three days in the hospital, I'll have four days free time so I can go there and work if I want to. Um, also, what a unit clerk does is basically administrative work for the nurses. Um, it's like printing the consent forms, registering patients when they come through the labor and delivery department, um, printing the wristbands for the babies, the parents as well, or the visitors or the father, whoever is in the room. Um, is, um, what else? I don't even know. I can't think off the top of my head all the details but you know as time goes by you guys will learn more and more of what i do in the hospital so yeah i will see you guys tomorrow when i'm going to work on my first day bye good morning so i made it to work it is now 6 51 and um, I don't even know where to walk because I'm in the visitor's parking lot. I start at seven, so I'm gonna go now. Wish me luck. Bye. Oh, also, also, I forgot to mention that I will be working seven to seven overnight, but because for training purposes, I'll be working seven to seven in the day. So for now, I'll be working to seven to seven. After training, I'll be headed to overnight. So yeah, I just forgot to tell you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna go now because it's 6.52. And I don't wanna be late on the first day. So I'll see you guys later. Hey you guys, welcome back. So my first day is officially over. 
So today I had seven babies delivered today. It was really, really busy. Um, I learned a lot. Um, it was a really good day, honestly. I learned a lot of a lot of things today. Um, this was my notebook that I took. Let me show you guys all these notes, like as if I'm in school. The sunlight is bothering, but it's a lot of notes I took, okay? Like, a lot of notes. So, I really did learn something today. Um, today, let me tell you guys what I learned today. So today, I learned what you do at the beginning of the shift. You find out all the doctors, the pediatrician, the NICU doctor, the, uh, the on-call doctor, um, the anesthesiologist. Uh, you find out all of that and then you put it on the board for the nurses. I also learned um, all the softwares and what you can do on all the softwares. No, not what you can do. What the softwares are for. Like some is to print consent, some is to print wristbands, some is to do the billing, stuff like that. I also learned about the different babies band. So there's two different babies band. There's one for NICU babies and one if the baby's just going to the regular nursery. So I learned those. Uh, I also learned how to register a newborn and register a patient that's walking in. Also, I learned how to do C-section booking in advance, how to book C-section and the billing. Yes. So, I learned a lot of things today, and all that I listed here is just part of what I'll be doing on a day-to-day -day basis. And we also had, even though we had seven babies delivered, we also had a lot of, like, um, OB offices calling, saying, like, um, we're going to send a patient over because... Maybe the patient has started to dilate or maybe, you know, something like maybe like to rule out preeclampsia or to rule out labor. Sometimes a patient might think that her water, her water bag might break, but honestly, sometimes it didn't break. So a lot of doctors send the patient over to rule out labor. So we had a lot of those. Some got stayed some got not not some got stayed some got kept for like monitoring or some started like the labor process others got sent home so yeah it was a really really busy good day it wasn't a busy bad day it was a busy good day i learned a lot and it was a good 12 hour shift today i'm not gonna lie but yeah what's today today is tuesday i don't go back to work until thursday and friday and then yeah i go back to work thursday and friday um and then next week i start overnight from sunday i'll start overnight so this week is in the day then i'm going to my official official overnight shift but yeah, so that was my day. That was just to sums up my day pretty much. It was a good day again. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer, of course. Bye.